Some people were uh, curious about the phenomenon of hosting strangers in our home, wondering, you know, if we would feel safe, if we would feel uncomfortable. And I've never had a moment's thought about it. When people do come to our home, um, we give them a key and they're able to come and go as they please. For me, although it does take trust to have a stranger come into your home, the larger trust comes for folks who are coming to us at a very vulnerable time in their lives. And to come in a stranger's home, under their roof, not knowing them, that takes the larger trust to me. And I'm very glad that that trust has come to our guests. We usually get a sense from whoever the guests are that they really appreciate having a home to go back to at the end of a long day, whether they're the ones who are having tests and exams, or whether they're the ones who are just wiped out from having been with a person who's going through a lot, to just have a house to come back to and people who will listen if they want to talk. I think that's what's meaningful for them and for us to be making it easier to not just go back to our room. What I like the best about hosting is that it is such an easy way to feel like you are making a significant difference for people. And to merely wash some sheets and wash some towels every now and then and say hello to some wonderful people, it is just gives a wonderful sense of fulfillment and a sense that I am making a little bit of a difference. I think when we first started out, we were a little bit concerned about how our schedule would have to be altered to have these families here. And indeed, what has happened is that we've learned that we haven't had to change anything. We've felt so comfortable with having families here that we just give them a key and sort of show them the rope, so to speak and then they can come and go as they want. One of the things I especially appreciate about hospitality homes as a volunteer activity is the flexibility of it. We have complete freedom to decide whether we want a guest. There's no pressure from hospitality homes to have a guest at any particular time. There's been an incredible healing opportunity through the community that's been established over a cup of coffee, over a muffin, over a conversation. And that healing power that happens one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two around my kitchen table to me has been really a part of the, the healing journey of our guests. We're fortunate to enjoy good health, but we're so moved and enriched by the experiences that our guests have shared with us. It would be difficult to say which was my most memorable hosting experience. I was the host for a man who came to the Boston Foundation for Sight. He came back to my house at about 5 o'clock at night. I heard the door open and he looked across the space of my big kitchen at me and said, I can see your face. I can see what you look like. He said, I saw my face in the mirror for the first time in 10 years today. And to be part of this man's rehabilitation will always be an eternal joy for me. When his children walked into my kitchen, I realized that in a way this was the first time he was seeing his children. And I heard him say to his wife, you are so beautiful. Who would not want to be part of an experience like that? One of the great appeals to being a hospitality home's host is that we're helping someone, a person, a face, as opposed to writing a check that's going to an impersonal organization somewhere else. It's one person to another. It's personal. Hospitality homes makes it comfortable for both the guests and the host because they can assure both that everything's fine. You're gonna love these people coming in and you're gonna love the people you're going to. It just works. It's just a wonderful thing that Hospitality Homes does.
I can't speak enough to the affirming nature of this volunteer work. I know we provide a service to folks, and I am so glad of that, and it's a privilege to do so. But the gifts that we have gotten in deepening our understanding of life, of what people can bear, and how they do so with such grace has, has really been a gift that I will hold forever. I feel very, very fortunate to be part of the Hospitality Homes community.